Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Sunless Skies. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're just to join me today as we leave New Winchester to go to the north. A region of the Reach that I know well enough by now, because we're going over there, and uh, this is also the first place that I explored, I think. So, um, I think that was... I don't know if I had any indication back at the beginning of the game that I should go north, but we should go north. And I think today... well... Maybe not today, maybe not in this episode, but soon we will be going to Albion. And the reason for that is... Uh, are we good? The reason for that is because I am carrying two souls. Two barrels of un nasty, untidied souls, or whatever they're called. Unseasoned, I think they are. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to that. I want to see what is beyond the pale, as it were. But uh, we have other things to do and before that happens, and you never know how long you're going to stay in any one place in this game. So, yeah. I still don't recognize... I can't navigate this, like, just by... by feel. So I need to use the map. Yeah, I was going over there, and that would be a mistake. It's... Yeah, I suppose it's not too difficult to... to know what I'm doing here in advance. Can you not crash? Indeed you can. Okay, one barrel of goods has been used, and here we are. Palmyr and Plenty Circus. We have completed one of the quests for this. They have uh, gourds of chorister nectar. I have plenty of those. I don't need them. What I do need is this, but it, it's fine. Let's go over here to the Gervais' rest. New arrivals at the circus. Really? A fire burns by the obelisk where newcomers mingle. None of them seem to know what drew them here, save that they had nowhere else they knew they should be. They trade stories and the last of the liquor from the flasks, finding solace here for reasons that even they can't seem to explain. So I can at attempt to recruit... I'm going to just listen to their stories. I think my terror goes down. Indeed it does. Um, you are briefly without terror. Yeah. Uh, the broken, the disavowed, the fugitives. I think we heard that before. So I can collect the free tickets as I always do because it's been long enough and I can get more of those. Uh, I can go behind the tents, recruit members, but let's not do that. Attend another performance, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's see. So I can go to the behind the tents is where I need to go because we have completed... Oh, right. It's not a check. I'm going to tell the headstrong strong woman. Her flyers are posted. If anyone from the Reach visits the circus, they'll know to have something ready for her. You deliver the news while she's in the middle of her training. She puts the dumbbell down with exquisite form and fetches you a reward from her tent. Here, she says, wiping sweat from her brow with her forearm. I hope they'll bring something interesting. I've really missed being surprised, she smiles wistfully and returns to lifting her weights, keeping up her running commentary on, her, on the things she saw last time her act was popular. Interesting. Uh, so she gave me a bunch of experience, a bunch of money, and two Salon Stewed Gossips. Which is good, because we need those for Port Haven, even though we don't really need Port Haven. Port Haven is a nice midway point, though, so I suppose may that's mostly what I like it for. Uh, so I think I'm missing something. I'm gonna go into the big top. There's... This is a new thing, I think. The echoing silence of the empty tent is undercut by something just out of earshot. A buzzing, almost. That you travel to the giant obelisk to one side of the port. The noise, the sensation, only gets louder. The obelisk is covered with giant indecipherable symbols, and as you touch it, you... F you being here feels right on some deep primal level. All thoughts of travel melt away. There is a place for you here where you're meant to be, among amongst the grease paint and the sawdust. You quickly pull your hand away. The itch recedes. The ringmaster's calliope blasts its noisy t tune, but even it is almost in inaudible over the roar of the guests out front. The performers are taking turns to put on free shows, much to the delight of their visitors. Back here, they clink glasses in celebration and devise new wonders for the future guests who will come. Really? Things are that good. There is no performance at the moment. That's why that happened. Uh, so things are really, really going well. 
Uh, let's see. So we did the twins already. We did the headstrong strong woman. The pensive clown, I think... I, I definitely did the, uh, the magician. I think I did the pensive clown already. It's the geese and all that sort of stuff. So we... Succeeded? This should be enjoyable. We don't need to do that. I can visit another performance. Interesting. The big top is filled. The audience chatters in anticipation. When the lights dim and the ringmaster is drawn into the center ring on his horse-drawn calliope, singing of the night's delights, the applause is rapturous. Then come the acts. The magician appears suddenly from a puff of smoke, dazzling the crowd with his many amazing devices. The acrobatic twins swing from their trapeze, figures of perfect symmetry as they go back and forth. The pensive clown is heralded by his comedic geese, cuddles, and ruffles, who march in their finery before him. They honk as he juggles them, and the audience collapses into laughter. The strong woman asks the crowd if they brought anything for her to lift. They cheer as a group of ten attendees struggle to wheel out a wagon full of crates and barrels. Not only does she lift them all in turn, she overturns the wagon single-handedly at the end to rapturous applause. And I have gained four Sky Stories, one Visions of Heavens, two tickets to the circus were lost, and uh, you are n now known, a known presence in the circus. I was already a known presence in the, circles, in the circus. So, I wonder if now I can talk to... No. Oh, the big top is the performance. Can I not talk to the boss? No. Well, there it is. We are. We did a great thing here. Oh. A moment's memory. Palmier and Plenty's inconceivable circus is pulling in crowds. Passenger locomotives shuttle guests in. Merchant traders and even the odd high-ranking tackety captain find excuses to dock at Gervais's rest. The ringmaster is run off his feet. The rejuvenated circus is... Heaving in with visitors, looming over it all is oh, looming, looming over it all is the vast obelisk. Its shadow falls over the crowds. Its sigils are burning brighter than you remember. The sigils smol smolder invitingly. You could touch it if you like. I'm gonna approach the obelisk. The circus has vanished. The islands on which it stood are empty. What? Here once before. Oh, this is a memory. I hope it is a memory. Empty, aside from a vast tree of fungus stretching up into the heavens. It's hife stretched from island to island, heaving, uh, weaving them together. A verdant. Looming above it is a luminous crustacean the size of a palace. A messenger. Its carapace is emblazoned with a sign of two overlapping suns. Its pincers flex slowly, thoughtfully. Sigils burn in the air between the two, exchanged like volleys in a tennis match. Gradually, the flurry of correspondence diminishes. A, co a compact has been reached. The messenger drives the obelisk into the ground, a marker of their concord. The obelisk is marked with the words of the emissaries, of meetings of peace. One, close to the point, ignites in searing light. It reads, a commingling of radiances. The obelisk remembers the promise. Something has to. I now have a searing enigma. What is a searing enigma? An incalculably precious discovery. Don't look at it directly unless you want to scald your blood. Okay. And a bunch of experience from that as well. You have brought the circus back to full strength and experienced something of what came before. The greatest show. That's what the adverts promise. The visitors seem to agree. Cheery calliope music thunders from the big top and through the many polished amusement stands. Such is the lure of the renewed carnival that people are coming from as far as London itself to partake. Many of them never leave. A small chanty town has been established just outside of the tents where they sit and laugh and plan to return home. Just not today. Tomorrow, perhaps, after one more performance. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Okay, well, uh, a traveling circus is settled here. That's ba basically the same description. And uh, we should go to Hebrus. 
The problem is going to Hebrus does involve us getting through that. But we should also go to Port Prosper. Let's look at our journal here. So... We could try talking to the devil. I don't think... I don't think he's gonna say anything. Because he's doing that. Yeah. A caged chorister B. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, nothing happens there, so we should be able to just forget about that for right now. Sweet Chains, ven uh, Vengeance, um, Lustrum. Sweet Chain, where? Oh, right, this doesn't matter. Um, Perdurance, Wilma. Get to Perdurance. Absolutely, I need to get to Perdurance. That's Old Tom's Well. That's uh, something about Perdurance. That's a bunch of assisting. That's the, to the tomb again, which I definitely need to. That's the other area that I need know I need to go. That's London. That is... Uh, the Amable Vagabond has certain obligations. Let's go ahead and talk to them, then. Yeah. A Skylark claimed to have found the mythical Sugar Spun Garden and came to seek the Vagabond's help. How does the Vagabond hope to find him? I've been making inquiries, says the uh, amiable vagabond. Quivers was in a traveling Skylark band named the Blunt Instruments. They weren't very good, but they robbed the bars they performed at, so they made enough to get by. I thought the rest of them were killed in a shootout last year, he beams triumphantly, except there was one other survivor, a concertina player who goes by the charming epitaph of a rat bite. She's currently imprisoned in London for some marvelous crime, I propose we break her out and see if she heard from her old partner in crime. Absolutely, we will. Uh, oh, I suppose I need to do that. You can usually be found in, in good spirits. Yeah, that's about... That's good. Let's not ask him to play a tune, because otherwise everybody cries in his bed. So, that's that. Oh, we need to go to London. We have uh, to reach... Tour of the Reach. Accumulate six Reach Port reports. Absolutely. I don't know how many I have, probably like four. Speaking of which, I might be able to write a port report from here. Probably not, because I didn't read anything. Didn't see anything here. That's kind of, You should be able to write a port report about this. Maybe it's only port reports on places... We're not going to Hebrews. Um, only on places that... Um, that are not, like, completed yet. I don't know if there's going to be any state of completion. But I suppose, like, an ending... A state, a change of state to the to any place that just makes them persistently different from what came before. Yeah, I suppose that that's good enough. That felt pretty, fin uh, pretty uh, definitive. Uh, we have a wonder to the south. We could go and check it out. Let's do that. I mean, we've been down there, but that's beside the point. The point is that we can get rid of our terror. Uh, and actually, we haven't been completely down there. That's the rat's place. I remember that. It's about the only wonder I remember. I think there's another one, but I don't actually know what it was. And anyway, we're getting rid of uh, the uh, fog of war. And that's always a good thing. Okay, using up some of those. Oh, yeah. And maybe... Man, the experience... Yeah, it's going to take a long while. Maybe we're even going to find new places because sometimes the triggers are very small. I think we're hearing the wonder by now. Reminds me of the sound of s sun... Uh, what's the name of Dawn? What is the name that you give to the s sunrise? That's the, the name. Reminds me of the sound of sunrise in Darkwood. Because in that game, sunrise is super important. Hi! Oh, don't crash. There it is. See? We like this. It's the unknown rat. And of course, we had to have a tackety around to make noise. And knowing the nice soundtrack. You jerk. I think that is always the same soundtrack for every wonder. But anyway, our terror is good. I don't know if our journey to to Albion, because that's where we're going, is going to change anything. Might as well see if we can get some supplies over here. 
Uh, eat my fuel, share gossips from civilization. I can trade this for supplies. I only have six, which is, yeah. I can also give the munitions for bronze wood, which I don't want. I can eat my fuel, which I will, because why not? Yeah. Don't crash. <laughs> Just arrive here by crashing into their house as we are eating. That doesn't, that doesn't sound right. In fact, that was a crashing after we ate, so, yeah. Port Prosper. I don't think we have any mission proper in Port Prosper. So, oh, we, we do. We have a, a prospect. Many pro towns in that sentence. Hi. Uh, do I kill you? I don't think I do. I mean, I could. Also, what is that? Do you see that? I hope that's a thing I can harvest just without mining. It is not looks like a factory of sorts with a huge pipe but then it makes sense that there would be pipes water cooling pipes or something I don't know what they would need you'd expect water would be a precious very very precious um, uh, resource here in the skies because the cycle of water is a completely different thing and here we are and I hear cannons roaring in the background. Not roaring, just sort of blasting. Boom. I don't know what they're fighting. It's probably the Tacades. They they go everywhere. So I can explore Port Prosper. There's the Lamosphere. Was that for? I don't... Eh, sure, sure, let's go with that. I think we... I'm gonna read that, most likely. I'm just trying to see if it's uh, anything new. Yeah, I don't think this is anything new. There's a lot of options here. Let's see. So, the narrow streets, that's basically the thing. A celebration of the bounty and fortune of Port Prosper. There is an elderly lady there. What? What's that? Suppose? How does that work? Whispering surreptitiously. I think that's a typo. Uh, likely to be a tombola. 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 That's a thing for a... For a... The ra rafter. Raffer? Rafter. Ra yeah, anyway. All the sights and sounds of a day at the fair in London. Genuine rubbery lumps sold by the cartful. Icons of mayors past from Dick Whittington to Sinning Jenny line the streets. A ferry wheel offers paying cost customers the chance to survey the heights of Port Prosper. Side stalks speckle the side streets. Mend by gamblers and mountebanks. Sure. The main streets offer popular games and diversions watched over by a number of burly guards from the factories. So I can run with a crew of EastEnders, which is the nasty one, uh, the nasty ones, the poor ones. I said nasty ones because this is picking. I saw that. And yeah, I think they're thieves here. Uh, and a crew here is meant to be a crew of thieves. So they're the nasty ones in this particular occasion. Um, delve into the side stalls, which is 100% chance to do. We have to stick with the main stalls. And I can beware the inadvisable big dog. No, sorry, not inadvisable. The dog isn't, isn't inadvisable. The dog is inav inadvisably big. <laughs> Something large and immodestly flu fluffy this way comes. People hasten to get out of the way. Perhaps you should stop it. Uh, uh okay, I can do that. Let's do that. Am I, is the volume correct? The volume is correct, yeah. A dog of colossal proportions, golden as a lick of pale nectar, comes stampeding through the stalls, crashing into displays, tripping bystanders, menace in, menace in the body of a long-tailed, velvet-nosed, stuffed toy. You move into the canine's trajectory, arms spread wide, and the dog takes it as an invitation to pounce, bowling you over and subsequently half-drowning you in slobber. The locals are only too happy for you to lead the animal away, especially after they discover that no one knows who he belongs to, whom he belongs to, where he came from once, and why they've tolerated him for so long. An occurrence. Oh, I now have an inadvisably big dog. Who doesn't want to have an inadvisably big dog? I am all down for that. Uh, this is this is all great. I, I'm pretty sure that is that is a thing that we have now. Right? Shh, go away. I don't understand the tooltips don't, don't work I don't actually know where that is it here in the profile it is in the profile so we have uh, oh it is not in the profile interesting 
Oh well. Uh, so we can delve into the side stalls, which I will do. I can also put that away. Who knows what's lurking in the shadows? The side streets are dotted with all manner of lish licentious activity. Foul funger, fungal beer, pilfered from lead beater and stained rods nature reserve. Wine spiced with stolen minutes that revivify the stomach along with the alcohol. Genuine rubbery lumps, every bit as horrible as memory could craft. There are ga games of darts, knives, chance, and pin the tail on the parliamentarian. You drink and gamble to excess to general applause. But we didn't actually lose any money, which is great. That's the best way of gambling. Uh, in its narrow streets huddle in the shadow of a great crag. Banners display the stony features of her renewed majesty. Wealthy West Enders strut by. That's the main one, though. That, that, that's Port Prosper, yeah. So we did all that we could. Okay, we got a dog, and we gambled and, 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 and things. So I can offer transport to settlers, which is always a good thing. Um, I need Sky Stories, but I have a lot of them. Uh, yes, indeed. A crowd gathers to listen to your tales. Your stories of daring escapes and fingernail victories go down almost as well as the whiskey does. Yes, it does. And now we can offer again, but this time around, we actually do get the check. Uh, so, would-be pioneers... Yep. Yeah. That, that's good. I'd appreciate it if you took me to Trader's Wood. I'm in the mood for a spot of sport. She rushes onto your vessel as soon as you've finished shaking hands. Excellent. I'll stay out of your way then. You'll hardly ever no even notice me. Any luck and you'll forget I'm even here. And I think this one might be a fugitive from the law. So we'll see how that goes. So we have the Parsimoner's share office. Uh, no, shall not reconsider any offers here. Uh, ask about the Albion Transit Relay. We have that and the Windward Company. And uh, that's that's all good. So we don't really... Oh, no, no, no. This is what we came here for. The parsimonious chairman of the Windward Company is looking for out to outfit a dozen of things. And we give that and get a bunch of things in return. The parsimonious chairman is uh, apparently delighted and pours you both an almost but not quite indecent measure of brandy. So good to do business with a Sky Captain with an eye... For, to the future, indeed. So I get one supply, which is nice. I get ten fortune with the stovepipe, which is actually not that great because I lose reputation with attackities, which is fine. They're curious. They liked me a little bit more, but uh, the experience and it's it's all good. Uh, and I can sell this as well. Did I? Hmm. Because this is gonna have the same result. No, it did not actually. Not this time. So there it is. A butler receives the bottled souls at the servant's entrance to a grand townhouse. Most appreciated. And please accept a small additional sum as an indication of how highly we value your discretion. discretion. Yes, I do appreciate all of your monies. And we have ministry approved literature, but we will not be buying that because I don't think I need it. Um, even though I probably do. But because we don't have too many places to sell things, uh, the uh, this things, because we don't have too many of them, I really don't need to look for, for that. So, we're leaving and we're going to Albion Transit Relay. And look at that. We're actually going... Well, we're at least activating that in this episode. I don't know what's going to happen. So, let's just... Uh, oh, no. I forgot about food. Ah, well. Who needs food? <laughs> okay, they might actually sell stuff over here. They do not. They don't even allow me to look at my hold. So, uh, really? Why? Oh, I see. Ministry stamped permits. I'm very smart. I, I know exactly what I do. I will, we will, we will do this. We will do this, ladies and gentlemen. So the good thing is, actually, the, I don't know if the, the bargain is going to be there. I hope it is. It's the same day still, to my surprise. Just fast. Okay, so probably two days after. If I'm lucky, I'll be okay. Yeah. So I buy a couple of these. And more importantly, I could get that over there. Also, we don't need these, as it turns out. 
Because I need to get the other thing. This is good maybe for the way back. I don't know. Let's get... Uh, let's get this. Two. Sounds good. Can I do this? Th yes, I can. Okay. Let's undock and go. Come on, don't crash on things. And off we go. And they're... <laughs> you can hear the cannons. <laughs> it's weird. I don't know what they're doing. Okay. Full steam ahead. And here we are. That makes a heck of a racket. But I think now we can... Yes, we can. Bribe? No, wait. Dang it. Well, let's hopefully not miss this. You must be circumspect. It is possible the poor fellow is afflicted with morals. Yeah. So, I'm gonna try to bribe the superintendent to give you a travel permit. Please! 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 Oh, god damn it. Despite your elaborate hints, and you feel unequivocal eyebrow wiggling, the superintendent remains oblivious to your attempts to bribe him. What's more, the hefty donation you made to the Relay Workers' Pension Fund, which you had assumed was a, a, an apparatif to a second, mutually satisfactory bribe, turns out that they have a legitimate donation to the Relay Workers' Pension Fund. You won't be getting it back. Oh no. I can try it again. Oh yes. Oh, that's, that's fair enough. That's still, that was still cheaper. Your generous donation to the Relay Workers... Wait. That was, well, that was, a, uh, that was a success nonetheless. So, yeah. Your generous donation to the Relay Workers Christmas Fund this time around is uh, gratefully accepted. Although you notice that it, it, it is at no time recorded in any ledger, the superintendent is happy to present you with a little booklet of bright blue, you, your travel permit. Okay, I think I have it. So I can travel second class if I do that. You have unlocked this. You unlock, but I can't go. Oh, maybe we need. To, yeah, we need to do this. Okay, so I need to present myself to customs. Every relay is on the hunt for contraband. I have no such thing. A pinch-faced inspector boards the ship with her retinue. Come on, hurry up! If you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. Their mouth cracks into something almost, but not entirely like a smile. Nothing from me, at least. Mm-hmm. Nothing to declare. So I have no contraband, so everything is fine. The pinched-faced inspector almost looks disappointed at having to give you a clean bill of passage. Such a waste of time, they mutter, stamping the customs form. Go on. No reason to take up space here. And I can return to my engine. Yes, your business here is concluded. It is time to continue your adventures in the high wilderness. Okay, let's go back. My crew is eager to move on, and we can go in second cl second class. But why would I do that? Ministry strand permit. Reach Albion transit permit. Will I lose this? I don't think I will. Let's find out. Even if I do, I guess that's fine. First class is reserved to those on imperial business. You will need appropriate paperwork. I did lose it. So it was a bad thing. At the sight of your papers, the superintendent jumps to activate the relay. It's our looms rumble, spinning the pocket of new time in which your locomotive will make its journey. Wrapped in your engine's new coat of hours, it will be hard to, stay, to say how long the journey takes, but the hours used by Imperial of officials are languid and seasoned. The passage should be at least tol tolerable. The machinery grinds and stirs, the steam vents, the sigils of the edifice burn with sullen fire. A force like a great hand seizes your engine. Well, I'm not there anymore. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Anyway, that's also the end of the episode because we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Sunless Skies. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. 
But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.